Measuring time. To tell time, we need to see what the hour's hand or the short hand is pointing to and what the minute's hand or the long hand is pointing to. Okay, can you tell the time here? Well, we say that it is exactly one because we can see that the hour hand is pointing at one while the minute's hand is at zero. What about now? As you can see, the minute's hand moved five, ten, fifteen minutes. So the time is one fifteen. Here, the minute's hand is exactly in the middle. How many minutes did it move? If we count them, we can see that it moved 30 minutes, making the time 1.30. In this case, it will be 1.40, because the hour's hand is still pointing to 1, while the minute's hand points to 40. Take a look at the clocks we just talked about. This is another clock where the time is 1.45. And in this one, it is 1.50. While in this one, the minute's hand has made a full cycle. Notice that the hour's hand now points to 2. It is exactly 2. In this lesson, you learned how to tell time in minutes and hours.